How are we all doing? So I'm on a little holiday here for a couple of days. I'm in Iceland and we've been, uh, we did the Golden Circle. Um, we've been all over the place. We've seen the geysers and the waterfall. A beautiful, beautiful country and I recommend it to anyone. It's only two hours from Dublin. But um, today we went to the Blue Lagoon. Now the Blue Lagoon is this huge um, outdoor pool thing, massive. <laughs> Probably about an acre of water, um, up to about here. Um, and it's naturally heated with the uh, underground volcano, uh, whatever. But um, just in the distance, I couldn't help but noticing, being the kind of fellow I am, um, a very tall radio mast. Now, at first I thought this might have been um, a long wave radio transmitter area, because I believe Iceland uh, had uh, a couple of long wave stations, or maybe they still do, I'm not sure, I'm going to look into that. Uh, later on, but um, no, it's actually a VLF uh, station here in uh, Grindavik. I hope I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's on 37.5 kilohertz and it's transmitting data uh, for the US Navy. And they're probably knocking out 100 kilowatts or so. So they've got two masts here, um, and then they've got a load of other stuff as well. So I thought we'd uh, have a look at it. The call sign of this station is a uh, TFK. So, and it's being VLF, we can probably receive it all over the world, you know. So, camera around and we'll, uh, we'll have a look here at these beautiful masts. Now, this one I believe is only 600 foot tall, and the other one, which has gone off up into the clouds, is a thousand uh, feet above ground. So, you can see why I thought this was a long wave transmitter when I seen it. Zoom in as best we can. So that's the thousand foot one there, which goes off up into the clouds today. And here we have the 600 foot one. And the guy walked there. Now, one of the things I noticed, and I'm sure someone more expert will comment. Um, these lower uh, guy wires appear to be just holding up, I think they're the insulators there, there and there, but the ones coming from the top uh, don't appear to be insulated until down here, closer to the ground, so I think they might be part of the radiating elements, they'll probably act as like a, a capacity hat, um, because I was reading, you know, it's still a very short wavelength for 37 point five kilohertz I think it'd need to be over six and a half thousand uh, feet high to be a quarter wave so they're uh, electrically short at the frequency they're operating at uh, obviously they're telling us to stay away which you would understand Grindavik appears to be a very small town it's just here in the distance I think there was a US uh, military presence here um, until 2006 but they um, they still operate the um, the VLF station here so obviously it's, it's for the part of their submarine network and um, there's also a few other masts and things there which are interesting in the background you can really see them from here this one over here is um, Quite a fascinating array, which um, it's like a spider's web, but they can switch different elements in, uh, makes it directional, and obviously they can pick you know, north, south, east, west, which is interesting. Um, so there might be a bit of listening going on here as well. far away the phone is uh, struggling to make it out it's a bit dark here as well I don't know what that is I think that's another kind of direct directional array there as well for HF uh, there's another one down there too there's one there so there's a, quite a an interesting array of uh, antennas here, but obviously the VLF masts here will be the well known one. So that's TFK uh, V 
Sophia left 37.5 kilohertz. I thought that was a, an interesting thing to have a look at here while I'm in Iceland. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next one. I hope you found that a little bit interesting.